Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. Today's video is a Hot Flash Monday video and we will be putting the Dermablend Professional Smooth Liquid Camo Medium Coverage Foundation to the test. Um, this was recommended by the Taylor. She is on Accutane right now for cystic acne. She's way younger than us, but when you're on Accutane, it really dries out your skin. So I thought, oh, what perfect. And she said, this might be good for you dry skin girls. So I thought, that's me. So I got some, and that's what we're gonna put to the Hot Flash Monday test today. So I will tell you, this is what Ulta says about it um, on their site. Pull an all-nighter, steal the spotlight, whatever your coverage need, camouflage it flawlessly with Dermablend Smooth Liquid Camo Foundation, a medium coverage liquid foundation that offers invisible weightless coverage that appears as skin, not makeup. This blendable formula evens skin tones, minimizes the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles, and instantly camouflages imperfections. Formulated with Camo Pigments, pigments Technology, Liquid, oh, smooth liquid camo's hydration and pigment level allows skin to feel smooth and silky for 16 hours of consistent color wear. Contains broad spectrum SPF 25 protection and is ideal for all skin types. It looks like it comes in uh, 15 shades. I got the shade cream, which is the second to the lightest it's the lightest neutral color it's 10n or cream is the color so let's get started i have already washed and primed my face or moisturized my face and then i sprayed the um tarte marine boost just for some extra hydration and i put on my algentis algenist boy i'm having trouble talking today huh i put on my algenist primer we're gonna put it on with my New favorite brush, it's a Morphe M439. My new favorite brush for foundation. Okay, so I'm just gonna put some on my finger and then dot it on my face. And then go in with my brush. And it does say medium coverage, but I'm thinking anything that's medium can probably be built up to more full coverage. Or we'll just go with medium coverage. Actually, we'll just go with medium coverage to uh, keep it from being dry. Although it says, and was recommended for us dry skin girls, so it should be good. Let's go in with the sponge. Sometimes you just gotta let them settle in a little bit. I'm thinking this is not medium coverage. This is a sheer coverage. But I'm just gonna let this set, settle in a little bit and then we're gonna go in again with a little bit more. I don't want to put too much more on because it will probably get cakey. If I do, I just want to put it on the parts that aren't covering. Because it's camo, it's supposed to cover everything. Well, no, actually, it's not, is it? It said medium coverage, so. Maybe I should have just used Concealer. But I really wanted it to cover these spots on my cheeks. That's better. Now let's go in and see what damage I did. As far as cakiness. Huh? Once I got the cakiness off, I also got the camo off. It does kind of settle into pores. Doesn't seem like it's in the lines too bad. 
it right here where I want it to cover the spots is where I need to add moisture and then it doesn't cover the spots. Okay, I'm not going to do any more. It's medium coverage. It's, it's nice. I like it. I like the color. The color matches pretty good. And it's not going to cover these because it does say medium coverage. But it also says 16 hour wear. We'll see how it holds up to hot flashes. I'll just cover these with um, concealer. I'll use the shape tape to do the eyes. And the nice red spot on my nose. So we'll just blend this out, use it for our eye primer. See how these two play together. I am going to go in and set it with the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. Set my under eye anyway. And then we're going to go in with the Laura Mercier translucent powder and set the rest of my face. Just put a little in the lid, take a big fluffy brush, shake it off, and then go all over, including my lids, sides of my nose, everywhere, dusting off that brightening powder at the same time. Okay, I love the look of this. It's it's doing it's got medium coverage. I can still see the spots a little bit, but that's okay. I will go off camera now and finish my makeup and then I will come back and show you how we did after some hot flashes. I'll be back. Hi guys, I'm back. This is the look of the day and it is for the Dermablend Liquid Camo Medium Coverage Foundation. Anyways, so far I like it. it may, it's still a little bit drying. It's not as good as I thought it would be, but we'll see how it does up against the hot flashes. So I will check in at the end of the day and let you know how it held up. I'll be back. So I am back for my final check-in of the day for the Dermablend Liquid Camo Foundation. I like it. It, um, it's not my favorite, but because it's, but it's, I think it's because my skin is dry. That's all there is to it. My skin is dry right now. Um, it looks a little cakey still. It sinks into pores is what it does. It sinks into pores. It's, it doesn't make my skin look, oh yeah, it does kind of make my skin look dry. It held up to hot flashes though. If you don't have super dry skin like I seem to have right now, then it's really good. Even though, and it's not nearly as bad as some of the others that I've tried with my dry skin. Um, it's, I like it. It's just if you get in really close like with a magnifying mirror or if you're not blind like me, um, it's not perfect. But it's not bad. It's not sinking into lines, really. No, it's, I mean, a couple of places it is, but that's looking at it really, really close. I like it. I really do like it. But I'm not really sure why, because it's not perfect. But it covers pretty good. It's not the best. See, you can still see that spot, and of course that, because nothing's going to cover that. But otherwise, I do like it. I did, it did hold up to hot flashes. I don't really think I had very many hot flashes today because 
it's like 10 degrees here so it's not very hot <laughs> even even in 10 degrees I don't really have hot flashes I'm sure I had at least one I just wasn't paying attention but when I look at my makeup it looks exactly like it did when I put it on so it it's it's good but it does kind of sink in a little bit to the lines I know that when I put it on I had to let it set and then go back and take my sponge and press it out of the lines again but once you do that once you've let it set and then you go back and you do this in your lines it doesn't go back in there and I do that with any foundation it's like it always is going to until it sets itself it's gonna move a little bit back into those lines depending on of course how deep your lines are but I am gonna give it a thumbs up because it did hold up to the hot flashes or hot flash if I only had one I can't remember but I do like it I think you guys should try it anyways if you have anything like me because I have really dry skin right now I don't know why but I do and so if you only have a little dry it's probably going to be really really nice and I think you should try it and I have no idea how much I paid for it I can't remember sorry anyways I hope you enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe before you leave and hit that little bell so that it notifies you whenever I put up a new video. Follow me on Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. And I will see you in my next video. Mwah!